Hi there! In this video I will show you how to detect if a player is moving in your Roblox game. Let's now go to Studio and I will show you two different ways of detecting when a player is moving. Now let's get started by going to our service script service. We're going to insert a script. You can name it player moving and in your script just insert the following lines. In our first example we're using the running event of the humanoid object to detect when the speed of the humanoid is greater than zero. If the speed is greater than zero, we know the humanoid, the player, is moving. Otherwise, the player is not moving. Let's play test and take a look at this first example. I'm gonna go and open up my output window and now let's play test and look at this first example. As I enter the game, you can see I'm not currently moving right now, but when I move, a little bit, you can see I'm moving and also we're printing out the speed of the humanoid here so you can see I'm moving at different speed. Now I'm gonna try and move faster now and you can see the speed is higher when I move. When I press move and I hold down the key it moves faster, it moves at the faster speed. Again, you can see the speed is faster as opposed to if I move a little bit and let go. Oh, this time is fast too. Let's try again. That didn't pick up. That didn't pick up. That didn't pick up. I, I guess I cannot control the speed. Anyway, that is one way of detecting if your humanoid, your player, is moving. Let's now go back to studio and we'll look at another way. So you can see this technique. Like if I move very little, it doesn't pick it up. That one, that, that time it picked it up, but you see it did not pick up. That time it picked up. That time it did not pick up. Let us go back to studio and look at the different way of detecting if our player is moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna disable this current script here. And we're gonna go to our starter player scripts. We're gonna insert a local script. And in your local script, just insert the following lines. In this example, we're checking the humanoid move direction magnitude. When it is greater than zero, we know the player is moving. Otherwise, the player is not moving. And you can see we're using the run service to call this function for every frame. Let's now play test and take a look. So currently, I am not moving at all. And you can see the not moving is printing like crazy. And now I'm gonna be moving. You see when I'm moving, it's printing I'm moving like crazy. I'm gonna stop, moving, stop. So this way it's actually more accurate because look, if I move even very little, it recorded five, five movements, right? Right here it's recorded four movements. So even with a tiny step, this one still picks it up. As opposed to the previous technique, it did not pick up when the player moved very little bit. Guys, those are the two different ways of detecting when a player is moving in your Roblox game.